Unraveling the Mystery of South. Know your directions. Hey there, language learners. Welcome back to another exciting video. Today, we're diving deep into the realm of conversational English, focusing specifically on giving and receiving directions. Have you ever been lost and needed to ask for directions? Knowing your cardinal directions can really come in handy, and today we're zeroing in on one of them, South. So, let's get started. The term, South, is one of the four cardinal directions. Cardinal directions serve as the fundamental points on a compass, helping us navigate through the world. South is usually represented by the letter S on a compass, and it's the opposite direction of North. When you face North and do a 180 degree turn, you're facing South. Now, let's look at some unique characteristics associated with South. In the Northern Hemisphere, the sun is generally to the south during the day. So, if you're lost and don't have a compass, you could potentially use the sun's position to figure out which way is south. Cultural context. South also has various cultural and symbolic meanings. In some cultures, it's considered warm, positive, and full of opportunities. While in others, it could have a completely different connotation. These cultural nuances are good to keep in mind, especially if you're learning English for travel or multicultural communication. Knowing what South is and its characteristics is good, but knowing how to use it in everyday conversations is even better. Here are some examples. 1. Asking for directions, is the supermarket to the south of here? 2. Giving directions, Head south for two blocks, and you'll see the library. 3. Descriptive. The south-facing window gets a lot of sunlight. Finally, let's talk about some idiomatic expressions that involve the word, south. 1. Go south. This phrase doesn't literally mean to travel south. It's an idiomatic expression meaning that something has gone wrong. For example, the project went south after our lead developer left. 2. Down south. This can either refer to the southern part of a country or region, or sometimes it's used to discuss the southern United States specifically. So, there we have it. We've talked about what south is, its characteristics, and even how to use it in conversations and idiomatic expressions. Navigating the world and conversations will hopefully be a bit easier for you now. I hope you found this video helpful. Stay curious, keep learning, and I'll see you in the next video.